Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Carrie from Carrie Counts Cash here. How's everybody doing? Today we're having a fabulous day here. I'm on night shift. I slept a good portion of the day, but when I got up, I discovered that it was 20 degrees. It's so sunny. It's gorgeous. And when I sat down to film this and started talking about the fact that we are going to be doing my savings challenges for May week two, as well as unstuffing any bills that are due for end of May, beginning of June, I realized, oh my God, it's June. June is my birthday month, if y'all don't know. And it's also kind of the doorway into the rest of summer, which those are my favorite months. And I cannot wait. I love just long days outside with the heat, the vitamin C, being able to hop in the car and just go swimming, Every basically everything that comes along with summer other than like the bugs, I don't mind. I am in love with. So I'm really excited about that. Please leave your favorite season down below, leave why, and let's take those positive vibes into the video. Now, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Those things really do boost me up. I appreciate every single one of those. Um, so please keep doing that. And with that in mind, let's just get into the video, okay? Now, forgive the light because, of course, as I said, it's so sunny here today. It goes behind the clouds. So that would just be my luck, but ignore that. So in my rollover envelope, this is the money for my savings challenges. Oops missed one so we're gonna take this and we're gonna set both of these envelopes to the side for now and let's count this money for you guys we have 50 1 50 2 220 230 240 245 250 255 260 265 um i will use my cash here for this Let's sort it out. All right, and let's start with my savings challenges here. Let's put the iPad to the side first. Okay. So, for my savings challenge, we're going to start with the $3,000 savings challenge. And this is one of the ones that we don't count in every single video. We count it for bill exchanges and we count it for end of the month check-ins just to kind of see where we're at. But there is a decent lot of cash here. And this week we are going to be adding $120 in here. So we've got a 65 and we've got a 55. So let's set those right there. We'll start with the 65. So 50, 65, and we'll do the 55, 55. We'll set these two to the side in the cash tray and add this in. Now our next bill exchange is planned for the end of June, but probably in the next video you're going to see me count this because that should be my end of the month check-in. Um, I'll just tuck this in here for now. We're going to wait and draw the numbers for next week after I finish my $5,000 savings challenge and then we will also will fill out the tracker on my iPad. So for this one, we're going to put $75 in here. So... 50, 75, and we just started this one not that long ago, so we don't actually have much in here at this point, but $1 is $1 more than I had the week before, so the fact that we put $75 in here is not bad at all. Let's do my iPad trackers first before we 
pull numbers for next week. Okay, so my $3,000 savings challenge, we did a 55. Let's do green just because we're all super green today. We're all happy. The vibe is right. And we're just loving, 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 loving that the grass is greener, the sun is shining, and these are the best months out of the year for me personally, at least. Okay, so 65 and 55 we filled in, and let's flip over to our $5,000 savings challenge. So for this one, we'll do yellow for this one. We did $75, so we'll do this one up here. And again, y'all don't come for the coloring. That's not what this is about. So 75. And this one we're doing a lot more leisurely than we're doing the $3,000 savings challenge. Like I'm not really in a rush to finish the $5,000 one, but this one would be nice to have at least by the end of the year. Y'all know that I'm working hard to pay off my debt. And since October, we've managed to pay down like 10 grand. So we're working. So now you might have known that I had like a little Vitamix thing that I had all of my little stickies in to pull out of like just random numbers for these envelopes. But I've since moved them because I had this big pineapple sitting in the corner of like all my setups and I was just wasting real estate guys. So let's bring it in. Inside here, oops, we've got our numbers. Now it's, there's a lot of other stuff in here, like just like decorative stuff. So the real estate isn't all that deep down in there, but that's okay. So I'm not going to look because I know a lot of them you can see on camera, but um, we'll see what we get. So this one, $85. Okay, we'll set this aside. This is our $5,000 savings challenge. And we'll see for our $3,000. I know that was a green one. Let me see. This one is 40. Let's see what other number we can grab for it. We'll do maybe this one. 55. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm happy with those. So we'll plan for $95 in our $1,000 savings, or sorry, $3,000 savings challenge. And then we'll plan for 85 and our 5,000. Okay, so let's set this to the side. All right, so those two are done. $25 per week is going to get its regular $50. We'll move the cash tray back into frame. And this, there we go. So our last $50 bill is going to go here. This one we're also not going to count in this video. We are on track. We will swap these out in our June bill exchange. Our $5 savings challenge is actually going to get our last two fives. We had one from groceries, and I think I took one out of miscellaneous. This one we will count. This one um, we're going to try not to do much for swapping with until it gets too unmanageable. But even then, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find like a mason jar, and I'm going to stick the majority of them in the mason jar and then start filling this envelope new and then we'll just go through at the end of the year and we won't have exchanged any of these fives that's kind of my plan um i don't think i'm gonna have enough fives to make it unmanageable because we're six months through the year and this is what we got but we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 dollars in our five dollar savings challenge and I have still no idea what I'm going to do with that. And our $10 savings challenge doesn't usually end up with much, but this week it's getting one $10 bill. So we have 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that's great. And that's it for the savings challenge portion of this video. Now let's move into our bill unstuffing. Um, I will keep the cash tray. And I've got a little cheat sheet to the side here. Um, the first one, car payment is not due, cell phone, no. Credit line is the first one we're gonna pull out of here. And we have 200, 220, 240, 245. Next one will be insurance. So insurance, we're taking 260. 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60. Loan interest we will also be taking. So there's $100 in here. Subscriptions is coming to the bank. And we have 10, 15. And I think that's actually it for in here. But we will actually be moving right back to our savings challenge binder. Um, or our savings in general, because we're going to be pulling the $160 that's in our savings envelope. You can't really see it with the light on the camera, but 120, 40, 50, 60. We're going to take this back to the bank as well, just to make a nice even number in my TFSA. And then we will build this up very slowly from here on out and stop taking such small amounts back to the bank. But that's it for the unstuffing actual portion. Let's count this up and see where we're at. And we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 50, 6, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. 780 dollars, which is exactly what I'm supposed to have. So we will stick this in our bank envelope. And finally get rid of this yucky $100 bill that I pointed out in my last cash stuffing video. So that is it for this. My bank envelope now has money in it, my rollover doesn't. That's exactly the intention when we started this. So that is it for this video, guys. I will see you in my monthly check-in and my sinking fund savings update. Bye-bye.